Hi, how are you doing? First thing I want to say thank you for we've reached 500 subscribers, which is amazing. Uh, so thank you very much. And I know I've been away for about three weeks now, so uh, but we're trying to get back into the rhythm again. So we've had a, a bit of a busy time at work with bank holidays and all. So a bit different here today in the garden. Uh, we're going to make a Penang curry, but we're going to make it a vegan curry. So we're going to get you the details for the Penang uh, curry paste later on. We'll do them together in one video. We'll do Penang, Masaman, green curry, all the vegan ones. Uh, but we're going to do a mushroom Penang curry today. So without any further ado, thank you very much. If you like what you see, please subscribe, ding the bell, and uh, make a comment at the bottom if you like it. All right, then, here we go. We're going to get on. So first of all, we're going to chop the onions. We just need to do this really roughly. Anybody who knows me or watch videos, I'll take as many shortcuts as I can. Right, are they done? We're going to add this. Normally with Penanka base, we're going to add some coconut oil. You can use vegetable oil, but it's much nicer with the coconut oil. This is on a low heat. It's still smoking, which is kind of really weird. We get your onions in. Soften those off. Now, at one point, we usually use garlic, but I've got some amazing garlic chives today, which I uh, uh, acquired, which are these ones. We're going to save the flowers for decoration, but we're going to use these later on. We're going to put those after it's all cooked so we don't lose the flavour. Make sure they're washed and they're not covered in dog pee. Right, so we're going to get in there, fry this off, Just get a bit of colour on, break them up. Then some mushrooms. Right, these ones are very just various wild mushrooms. So we're gonna not win any anymore. We'll just get some chop these up the big ones up. These are the ones you can use to make a uh, scallop. Vegan scallop, which I presume we're gonna do soon. So gotta get in there, break these ones up. We're gonna fry those off. Now we need to get these, sorry about the plane, are uh, sauteed off and cooked down a little tiny bit. But it doesn't matter if they're not quite cooked uh, because it adds a bit of extra bite to it all, but they will cook down really quickly. Looks an awful lot, but it will be in a minute. Go around, turn it up a tad. We will show you how to make the Penang paste. Before we do that, the actual Nackies with this with all Thai food is to cook with the coconut milk. So you take the top bit out first, and that's the fat. Add that to that. Oops. Beautiful. We'll always soften this really nicely. Perfect. First time I cooked on this rig, it's kind of really weird. I don't even know if it turned on. It must be. So that's on full. Legible. Yeah. Now we're going to add a cut of the Penang paste. Penang paste is one of those things that you, it's, it's flavoured with various other green curry paste. It has to be very different because it's kind of Malaysian. Uh, so we're going to put the Kupanang paste in now. With about a tablespoon and a half. Just break it up inside. It will break down very quickly. But you need to make sure you cook it off the spices. Otherwise it'll become raw. Two minutes, two minutes. Inside here now we've got some coriander seeds, a little bit of our uh, cloves, uh, and some a small little tiny bits of cinnamon bark. That goes in now, it gives it a bit of an added crunch to the dish. It is such a quick dish. And then all Thai curries are quite quick, I suppose, because they're all served on the streets. So once you've got it all fragrant and coated, you need to add the rest of the coconut milk. This isn't for two people, but it's a semi-dry curry, especially thick and not soupy, which like 
most of the other ones I make are quite soupy. So in it goes, most of it's cooked, you can smell it. So for the rest of the coconut milk in, make sure it's a good quality one. Uh, this one is from Aldi, believe it or not. It's a really, really good quality one. Don't use the reduced fat one, because it will be like water. So in we go. So the round, bring it up to the boil again. All incorporated. Now we're going to add some Lacafia lime leaf. Now you can get this frozen from any Asian supermarket. It comes in a box or in a big packet frozen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chiffonade it very, very finely. You can use scissors, which you've seen me done before, but this one's much easier. So we're going to get down and really, really thin. Thin as you can. The smell is just amazing. So in we go, that's enough. We're gonna have half of this to there. We're gonna use the terrest for decoration on top of the curry. That's looking pretty amazing actually. When you're cooking with meat though, you have to make sure that you make sure that the coconut milk splits when you're doing with vegetables, you can't do that because the vegetables will be overcooked. So we're going to bubble that down. Give that two or three minutes. I'm going to add some of the red pepper. The red pepper's not really necessary, but good for a bit of colour. Again, make sure we don't do it until it's nearly ready to serve, otherwise it'll lose its crunch and flavour. Beautiful. Time to season. Put some sugar, about a tablespoon and a half of sugar. You can use palm sugar if you wanted to, but this is brown sugar. It looks quite a lot, but it actually needs to be semi-sweet. Give it a quick taste. It's good, 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 good. A little more cafe leaf now. Into the red pepper, and now we're going to put our garlic chives in. I have a friend called Luke who will be very proud of me by foraging uh, and using this in dishes. So, for you, Luke. So that goes in. Final two minutes. Jobs are good. Look well down. Bring it to the small boil. I will give me rice. Onto the rice. Hold on, that can come off. I told you it was quick. This is enough for two or three people, depending how good you are. But our, uh... A bit of chilli on top. Finish off with some kaffir lime leaf and a drizzle and coconut milk again. A little garlic flour. Put it on the uh, uh, rice as well. And jobs are good. So. 
we'll see you next time it won't be this long again next time but i do apologize so get this if you make if you do make it give me a comment let me see what you're thinking and hopefully we're back in the kitchens of the sjt but it's just so glorious today that we do it all right so see you later don't forget to subscribe ding the bell and comment at the bottom and see you soon thank you see you later bye